The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame, I say that we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking in foolishness, I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like an insane person. I am still more with the far greater labors, far more imprisonments far worse beatings, and numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hands of the Jews I received forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and a day on the deep. On frequent journeys, in dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among the false brothers, in toil and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure on me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak? Am I not weak? Who is led to sin? Am I not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Our responsorial song. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress 
he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. There are so many different things from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians to the Gospel that we could Honestly, we could speak all day about one, just take one sentence and pull it apart. Uh, there's just so much offered today. But I had to reflect on one thing, and the one thing that struck me, it's from St. Paul. He, he speaks of boasting, boasting of his weakness, and he uh, lists all the different troubles that he endured during his ministry up until that moment. And I thought a lot about it this morning. Uh, and I get, it's probably not an original thought. Uh, you know, we, 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 we listen to people nowadays and they speak of different organizations or individuals as success stories. And we should... Uh, as they say, we should go with them because they're successful. You want to make money in the stock market? Buy my book because I was successful. You want to have a good society? Adhere to this idea, this uh, policy. Then it will be successful. And I thought about all these different things that we get told every day. And then I thought about the church. For 2,000 years, the church has stood despite the weakness of her leaders. Right now, the bishops are having this virtual conference here in the United States discussing, amongst many things, Communion, especially communion and worthiness to receive communion with Catholic politicians who say they're Catholic but do not. Uh, they, they promote things that are opposed to our Catholic moral teaching. And despite though that issue, despite all the issues from abuse to homosexual predators, all these different things. And this is just in our time. Before us and other generations, if you read about the church, all the different things that she has gone through. Failures from her ministers. Failures from society. It's gone through plagues and pandemics prior to us. All these things that would beat something down to the point where you'd say, why? Why do I want to continue 
Look, it's a failure by worldly standards. But yet it still goes on. And young men and young women today in our lifetime are still being attracted to the church to dedicate their lives as priests, as religious brothers and sisters, every day. It's not about success and worldly ideas. It's about God and the promotion of the gospel. You remember Jesus said, go out and make disciples of all nations, not of particular individuals or groups, not of certain classes, races, or genders of all nations. Nations, And in her weakness, the church continues to still do that. And if anything, that should give us hope. Hope to, to boast that we're part of something greater than ourselves that will stand when we're gone and no longer remembered. That's just my thoughts this morning. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our bishops as they discuss this issue on Holy Communion, that they may uh, produce a document that can help guide us and guide all Catholics. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for the repose of the soul of Ernesto and Pompey Estete. For them, this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us <clears throat> conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be, be to the Father, Lord, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God and forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, the praise and glory of his name, for all good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, 
through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, <clears throat> Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should come into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thus says the Lord, Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May be God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, cast down into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise of protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. God. Blessed, Blessed be His holy name. name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, who died for man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the soul. Blessed be the great Mother of God, and Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints.